Dave, what do you think about the horses on the track right now for um, cl the cloud market, cloud computing and cloud storage? I wrote a post about Joyant's funding. I highlighted Joyant and Nirvonics as two companies that uh, are acquisition targets. Obviously, Joyant setting the valuation of their last round. I'm guesstimating it's over $400 million. Um, Nirvonics, same kind of situation, cloud storage, you got cloud computing, you got cloud storage, um, you know, you got Amazon, Joyent, VMware. How do you see those horses shaking out on you? Also, then you got Microsoft nipping up in there as well. So, you know, these yeah, platforms well, of service, what's your take on all this? Yeah, you've named several of them, and, and as you were discussing with David Young, I mean, Amazon is obviously the the darling, the crowd favorite. They come out with new functions so fast and, and they just you know push it out there. Uh, but they leave a lot of white space, which is fantastic for companies like Joyent, for companies like uh, Nirvonics, another one that you mentioned. These companies in particular are targeting uh, enterprise customers for cloud. Another one is SolidFire, uh, which is uh, going to announce later this year. They came out of Stealth last year and they're targeting specifically cloud service providers. These companies bring several things to enterprise CIOs that Amazon doesn't. They give them uh, uh, better SLAs. They stand behind those SLAs. They allow things like audits to be done. Um, uh, they, they help with compliance. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll bundle their high availability SLA services into their monthly fees. Uh, so it's true cloud in that it's pay by the drink. You're eliminating the CapEx and focusing on OpEx just as you are with Amazon, but you're bringing in a level of of service that is more akin to the enterprise. And Joyent, uh, Nirvonix, uh, uh, other cloud service providers uh, uh, that are emerging, uh, like SoftLayer and VirtuStream, very innovative companies that are bringing new applications to the market. And um, at the heart of this transformation are, are new platform environments like Node.js and new infrastructure architectures, as David Floyer has written about, that are really flash-based systems. And we're going to see in 2012, I predicted this in my uh, predictions post for 2012, a bevy of, of innovation coming from companies like SolidFire. EMC's got Project Lightning that it's going to announce this year. Uh, Fusion IO is absolutely crushing it. You know, we've written about Fusion IO a lot. They're changing the game uh, in the IO stack. Uh, Viridit is another company that we're watching, and so a lot of exciting things on the horizon, and uh, really happy uh, to be part of that on theCUBE, John. Thanks for Skyping me in here. Okay, Dave, thanks so much for dialing in. I appreciate your time. I know you're super busy back east. Dave Vellante, co-host of theCUBE in Boston, couldn't make it. Um, great, to, it's great to see you and hear from you and your perspective, and uh, we'll continue to hold down the fort in this emerging joy and trend, and uh, obviously we love DevOps. We're going to launch DevOps Angle. We've been covering big data, so uh, continue uh, doing your research. Thanks a lot. All right, rock on. Thank you.